Hi you guys, it's me again, Shamama. I am here to talk a little bit today about the difference between compassion and coddling and forgiveness and fear. So what I wanted to share with you is some stuff that's come up with some of my clients this week um, in learning to, the difference between having compassion on our journeys for others and our beloves as always but this is a this is a bigger principle than just the twin flame journey this is a principle of how we live our lives and where compassion comes in and what that really means so we talk about being compassionate for other people we talk about having a being in a place of unconditional love and understanding for other people's journeys and for where they are in their process. But what we tend to forget at this point is that there's a big difference between coddling someone and being in that energy of codependence where, where we, we have compassion and understanding, but that doesn't mean that we coddle people. It doesn't mean that we baby them. It means that we understand. We have a greater understanding of what it means to do our healing, what it means to be in a place of truly having no expectations and conditions and having compassion for where someone is in their process, as opposed to enabling them, coddling them, and allowing unhealthy patterns and behaviors to continue going on. So what I found this week with some of the clients that I've worked with is that there was this confusion between being compassionate to someone and having understanding and empathy for where they're at as opposed to being in a place where you are coddling where you are babying someone and enabling them to continue destructive behaviors or continuing to allow them to break your boundaries based on the fact of being in compassion. These are different things, you guys. So, so I want you all to really take a look at where it is you are using compassion as a way to enable someone, um, allowing others to continue to disrespect your boundaries because you're in a place of compassion. You have to always do what is in your highest, greatest good, as we all do. We all need to be in a place of self-love first, self-respect first seeing that just because you do have compassion and understanding for where someone's at in their process doesn't mean that you allow them to disrespect or infringe upon your boundaries and the things that you hold for yourself that need to be important, all right? A lot of the times what happens is we come into this place of higher understanding of, of the whole process of the journey of the healing of the healing that goes on. And we find that sometimes in being of that place of forgiveness and all of those things, that that means we al allow people to get away with, with um, negative behaviors. And, and that isn't fair to ourselves. We are here strictly to, to come into a place of being in our power, doing what's right for us, respecting ourselves, and not being fearful, okay, of what that means. Sometimes you need and can have compassion for someone else and still let them go. Not have to be that person who is there standing beside someone who is still choosing to engage in negative behaviors or, or mistreating you and your boundaries. It doesn't mean you compromise yourself in a place of forgiveness and compassion. So I want you guys to go forth today and really look at your relationships. 
where is it that many of you have have fallen into this trap of being you know fearful of losing and i'm gonna say your twin or someone who's important to you in your life because you you know you don't want to lose them because you are fearful that if you allow them their process their way and let them go with love that you will miss out on something forgiveness and compassion and understanding are not about losing yourself losing your boundaries and giving up on the things that are important to you so really take this time as we are in these retrograde cycles and periods to explore deeper into what it is you are doing and how your actions and behaviors may not be honoring yourself and that you may be in a place of ultimate fear in how you are reacting and responding to others in your world including your beloved you have to be in a place where you can have compassion, understanding, and forgiveness for someone, unconditional love for someone, and yet still understand that if they are not in that same place for you, that that relationship may not be healthy for you, that you need to take care of yourself and also have that same reciprocated to you because you are worthy of such. This isn't a condition or an expectation you put on someone. It's a level of knowing your self-worth. So I ask you guys today to consider these, these concepts, to really sit and process where you're at on your journey. And are you loving people with compassion and understanding, but still kind of coddling them and taking care of them and enabling things that are not healthy, not just for them, but for you. Remember, we teach by example. We don't teach from a place of force. We teach and, and help others find their truth through our own truth by just being who we are here and meant to be. But that doesn't mean that we sacrifice ourselves for that. We always need to be in a place where we stand in our own truth and our own power. And we don't allow others to treat us poorly just because we have forgiveness or compassion or empathy for them. We always need to be in a place of self-love where we care for ourselves first. So you guys, I hope that this short little message adds some insight and inspiration into your process and where you are in your journey. Remember to move forward from places of love, always self-love first, okay? I am sending you all so much love and light, gratitude and blessings, always beautiful souls. Thank you all for being here. I love you guys, Mwah! and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.